In today's video, we check out the Audi desk mat from Journey. If you head back a couple of decades, desks were really cluttered spaces. They were covered in stationery, trinkets, and well, all kinds of junk. It seemed that back then, the more you had in your desk, the cooler you were. You had typewriters and later giant computers, lamps, in trays, out trays, kinetic toys, pot plants, mouse mats, file effects, roller decks, family portraits, all sorts. But these days, things are a little more minimal. Over the past few years, studies by the likes of the Harvard Business Review have really concluded that having a tidier desk or tidier workspace really increase productivity and output. To summarize these studies and borrow heavily from the aforementioned review, the physical environment around us really impacts the way we work. If the desk is a mess, well then so are we. And so the trend these days is to have a very minimal workspace where only the bare essentials are on view and everything else is either put away or gotten rid of completely. One integral part of the desk setup these days is the desk mat, onto which you can place your keyboard and mouse, and well, that's it. Minimalist, remember? I have been a strong proponent of the desk mat for a long time. I love the look they provide to a minimal desk setup. They really enhance the usage of the desk, both in look and feel. They make it a much nicer place to rest your arms. I've had a couple of cheap ones over time, and whilst I've really enjoyed using them, they haven't really lasted. They've ended up curling up and, well, been destroyed by my children. And so you can imagine my excitement when I stumbled across the Alti desk mat from Journey, a premium desk mat which has a hidden trick up its sleeve. Let's go and check it out. So, you may be wondering where I am. Well, I'm lucky enough to have two desk spaces in my house. One in the basement, where I often film my videos, and the one up here in my loft, where I've never actually filmed a video before. I use this space usually for actually working, my day job, and also producing these videos. The two main reasons I don't record videos up here are really firstly the fact that there are large bifold doors behind me and also a window just ahead, making the natural light really untamable. Also, it's quite noisy. There's a road just outside and you may even hear cars going up and down the road as I record this video. Anyway, I digress. Here is my old desk mat. As you can see, it's not in great shape. It's horribly marked, especially here, where you can see my son managed to get marker pen all over it. And also, in the heat, it begins to curl up, which is really annoying when you're trying to type because if you move your wrist forward over it, it rolls underneath it. It's not very good. Let's replace it. This is the Alti desk mat from Journey. It is a reversible desk mat with plush felt on one side and vegan leather on the other. Down one side, it has this felt binding, which joins the two pieces of material together. They can, in fact, be separated. And this in itself has a function. It means that if you're taking notes on pieces of paper, you can keep them between the pieces of material, keeping up that minimalist desk aesthetic. You can use the mat in either orientation, meaning that if you want it to open from right to left, then you keep it in this orientation. However, if you want to open it from left to right, then turn it around and hey presto. I have to say that the build quality of this desk mat is excellent. The vegan leather is really nice and thick, as is the plush felt, and the binding on the side is really well stitched. It feels like it's built to last. There are some really nice small touches too. For instance, there is this small Journey logo attached to the plush felt. That can be seen when either having the felt side up or when lifting up the vegan leather. So far, I'm impressed. But that's not all. The desk mat is also supplied with this wireless charging station. It is capable of charging both a phone and a set of earbuds at the same time. And it's compatible with both phones and earbuds of all popular manufacturers. The charging station is capable of charging a phone at up to 15 watts and a set of earbuds at up to five. So not crazy fast, but pretty good for a wireless charging pad. When placed next to the actual desk mat itself, the wireless charging station attaches to it with magnets on the side where you can see the binding and it can be placed on the left or the right of the mat just by switching the mat's orientation itself, as displayed earlier on. But of course it's modular, so you don't actually have to place it next to the mat at all. You could place it further away on the desk or potentially elsewhere in the room if you wanted to keep up a specific look or aesthetic. The desk mat is also supplied with the USB-C cable, which is used to deliver power to the charging mat. It can be used to plug into a wall point or potentially into a USB hub. I actually have mine plugged into my monitors because they act as a USB hub and can supply power, so that's perfect. At the top of the charging pad, there's a small white LED. That indicates when power is being delivered to the pad itself. When it's on solid white, that means that it's being powered but nothing's charging. And when it's flashing, it means that it's charging a phone or earbuds or potentially both. Now, before I give my overall impressions of this desk mat, I must state that I'm not being paid to make this review. I purchased this with my own hard-earned money. So these are my own thoughts. 
But then I do have to say, I love this desk mat. I think it's built phenomenally. Both the charging station and the mat itself really seem like they're made to last. All of the materials are nice and heavy, and the mat really gives a nice level of padding and support, especially when resting your wrists on it and typing. Rather than the clackety clack you get when the keyboard is placed directly on a wooden table, this provides a nice dampened thud when using a keyboard, and it really does make it a more pleasurable experience. I really love the look and aesthetic of this mat too. I'm using it vegan leather side up because I'm really clumsy and this is wet clean. At some point, I will throw a cup of coffee all over it. And I don't think the plush felt side will survive that too well. My minimal aesthetic isn't quite complete yet. I need to do something about all of this cable mess behind my monitors, but that is a subject for another video on another day. The modular charging mat is awesome. I find it really handy having my phone and earbuds on charge and at hand at all moments because often I'm running conference calls off my phone and it means I can leave it there charging with no fear that I'm going to run out of batteries halfway through an important business call. And the charging station itself actually helps that minimal aesthetic because if I didn't have that there, then I'd probably have cables running across my desk so that I can keep my phone and earbuds charged. I don't need them. The mat is available in two colours. You can get this warm grey, but you can also get it in black. I chose this colour because I think it works better with my desk setup. And so the big question, is this desk mat worth buying? And that's the one thing I will say, it is not cheap. Here in the UK, this cost me £109.99, and in the US, it will cost you $129.99. Now that's quite a lot, and you can pick up a desk mat from Amazon for a tenth of that price. So is it worth paying the extra for this? Well, in my view, yes, it is worth paying for this one, if you have the money. Firstly, its build quality is phenomenal. It will last way longer than a cheap desk mat. I got through a couple in a couple of years, and I think this one really will last a lifetime. And secondly, this comes with extra functionality. Firstly, you have the double-sided nature of it with the two materials, meaning that you can really tailor the look and feel of your desk as you wish to. And also then you have the charging mat. That obviously wouldn't be supplied with a much cheaper desk mat. Here, this really fulfills a different purpose. So again, elevates this above the rest. The other thing to consider with a minimal desk setup is, well, it's minimal. So you're not going to be buying all those things I mentioned at the beginning of this video. By not buying those, in a way, you're making a saving. So why not actually then spend the money on something premium to make the use of your desk a far more pleasurable experience? And so to summarize, I love this desk mat. It's made of great materials, it's really well put together, and the inclusion of this wireless charging pad really is a bit of a game changer. It really helps declutter your desk and achieve that minimal aesthetic. It's expensive, but in my view worth it. So that's it for today's video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comments section below. And as always, have a great day.